Hello, welcome to the Blue Beam tutorial. We're going to discuss manhole and drainage accessory measurements. So we're going to use the count function under the measure. So this is the one, two, three symbol, at the top of your screen or within your toolbar to the right. So the first example we're going to do is measure or record that we've completed a manhole. So we're going to use SO4 stormwater manhole. So I'll select my count button in the subject. I'll type stormwater manhole. I'll reference the manhole SO4 backslash and the date it was completed 28th of July 2020. The depth, if we know the depth, 1.5 meters deep. I go to my properties tab. I'll select blue for stormwater and red for foul water. So this is a stormwater manual. So I'll select blue, tick mark symbol, and show caption. I'll hover my mouse over the manhole and left click, and the tick will be displayed with also the date, which is we put into the label. Next, want to measure a stormwater gully. So again, click my count function from the subject gully. I won't individually reference the gully because they don't have individual references like manholes. I'll simply state the date that the work was completed. Properties, again, blue for stormwater, red for foul. We'll leave the timber as a sick, as, 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 we'll leave the symbol as a tick, pardon me, and show caption. We're going to use the tick symbol for all manholes and accessories. It's just important that we reference the change the subject and the label to reference what it actually is rather than change the symbol. Next example is going to be a junction. So we can see here this junction is between SO4 and SO3. It's a 225 diameter junction to a 150 pipe. So select my count, subject, stormwater junction. I'm going to reference the manholes that it's between. So it's SO4 to SO5. I'm going to backslash, I'm going to state the, the size of the junction. So it's a 22 five diameter to a 150 mil backslash and the date the work was completed the depth of the run if you know what the depth is for example one meter again storm water so we'll leave it as blue the symbol is going to be a tick show caption In this example there's two junctions This is referenced down here. We can split the count measurement by highlighting in the table, right clicking and bringing up the menu option and go to split all. That will individually split out those junctions. And that's how we use the count function to measure manholes and drainage accessories.